Yo, what's up, Dusty? Hey, what's up, Max? Ready to play? Yeah, let's play. Okay. Hey, there's a great attack over here if you need it. Yeah, I'll get it in a second. You got any minis? Oh, uh, that's a good spot. Hey, what are you doing? I don't want to play. Get out. Out! Here we go. Where you at? Yo, I'm heading back to Akron. Hey, when you get back, want to get on like old times? Uh, no, not until I pass the bar. <laughs> Should've just passed it the first time. You'll see how tough it is in a couple years. I'll show you how it's done. Knock him dead, man. Who was that? That's my older brother, Ron. He's a lawyer. Well, he will be once he passes the bar. Your brother's gonna be a lawyer? Lawyers make bank. Like, an average lawyer makes 100K a year. That's gonna be me someday. Well, um, <clears throat> this whole notion that I dressed up today to look the part, you know, dress for success, I mean, does this somehow make my argument any less granular? The reality is this. It's not what matters. It's up here. And that's our right to freely express ourselves. Thank you. Hey, Max. Granular performance. <laughs> what happened to your tie? It wasn't that bad, was it? It was good enough to make them laugh. Okay, class, so the next debate will be Sam versus Julia. Excuse me, Mrs. Brown? Yes? I was wondering if we could do a team debate. Oh, who do you want as a teammate? Liv. Oh, battle of the class valedictorians, interesting. What do you think, Sam? Bring it on. Okay, well, you guys can find partners and you have two days to prepare. Hey Sam, so who's your partner gonna be? I don't know, I'm probably gonna pick Mary. Mary? Why not me? Come on, listen, I'll study in like- No, you listen. Liv and I are tied for valedictorian right now. I can't let you mess this up for me. Mess it up? I'll study the subject and have a rough draft to you by tonight. I promise. All right, but I get to do the opening statement. <laughs> Deal. Hey, I'm about ready to jump into Fortnite. You in? Hey, Max, I'm running over to Grandma's. <sighs> Dude, I thought you got him. Did you hear me? Yeah, what? I'm running over to Grandma's. I need you to pick Billy up from practice, Dude, all right? go, go, go. Max, did you hear me? Yes, Mom. Well, last time you forgot. So, you need to leave here at 5.15. Say it. 5.15, got it. Set an alarm or something. Where'd you go? I can't see you. Oh, there they are. He's right here. Dude, he's shooting me. Yo, hey, I gotta go. Hey, sorry I'm late, I lost track of the time. my power cable. You forgot to pick your little brother up again because of that stupid game and I've had enough. I was only 30 minutes late. It was 40. And hand me that plate. Oh, big deal. He's in ninth grade. He was just playing on his phone anyways. He's your little brother and he looks up to you and that's the second time you've forgotten to pick him up. Hey, Billy, are you scarred for life because I forgot you at the school? Max, knock it off. It's not about you. It's about the coach, too. Don't you think he has better things to do? And by the way, that's the last time you remember to take out the track. It's overflowing, and guess who had to do it? Oh, big deal. When do I get it back? I don't know. Can I get it back tomorrow? I don't know. <sighs> Mom, you're being really unfair. The more you talk about it, the longer you're gonna have to wait. <sighs> Great, I hate it when you treat me like this. I can't wait to move out and be on my own like Ron. You 
can play the Xbox in two days. You know this is stupid, right? I'm in high school. Scheming away. All right, let me see what you got. Uh huh? Up late last night? Yeah, I was busy working on this. It took you all night to copy and paste a couple of lines? Fine, I'll do it on my own. Hey, what's up? Heard mom took the power cable. I just went in and found another one. I was up to like 4 a.m. last night. Sounds like me and my college roommates. We'd stay up to like three or four, grinding it out, and then skip class the next day. Dude, that sounds like so much fun. It was, but when it came to taking the bar, well, that's the reason I failed the first time. So I decided to give up video games altogether. I bet that was hard to do. Yeah, well, I had a decision to make. Make it to Legendary and Call of Duty? Or become a lawyer. What's that? It's my Xbox. I uh, played it last night. I found another power cable in the basement. You snuck around and found another power cable? Yeah. Max, what's going on? I want to do better in school. And it's getting in the way. So I'm giving it up. Oh. I'll get the trash tonight, too. I've got a lot to do here, Max. What do you want? Can you give me another chance? I'll be back on the team. I'm sorry for the way I've acted. Is that supposed to be an apology? Kind of sounds like one, right? <laughs> All right. All right, what? You're back on the team, but we're running out of time. Okay, let's get to work. What have you got so far? Listen to this. The simple truth is that technology is still a poor substitute for human interaction. Quoted from Robert G. Thompson. It is because I agree with Mr. Thompson that I affirm today's resolution that social media is making us less social. First. This is as simple as body language and facial expressions which can be key factors. Social media allows easy access to teens to the help that they deserve. Okay, time for closing statements. We thrive off of social media and its ability to create connections. This and why instant communication is significant. Thank you. You want me to do it? Look, I've got my own thoughts. It's no big deal. Hmm. I got it. Have you ever seen a couple in a restaurant sitting across from one another, ignoring each other, staring at their phones? Social media on the whole can be a good thing if it's used to connect us and further our relationships. But that requires us to make a choice. Which relationships do we want to invest in? The man on the date might be commenting on some random stranger's post, but what about his date sitting three feet away from him? I don't know about you, but I'm sad for the couple in the restaurant. I wish they'd put down their phone and talk to each other. Remnants about the past, about what happened that day, and about their hopes for the future. Do I think that social media is making us less social? The obvious answer is yes, but I don't think it was created to be that way. Check it out.
you suspect your friend is neglecting his responsibilities because of video games? Talk. Tell your friend. I've noticed you've let a lot of people down, especially yourself, because of the amount of time you're spending playing video games. Encourage. Share with your friend. Gaming may seem like fun now, but it's interfering with what matters in life, the people you care about, and the goals you want to accomplish. You have a decision to make. Tell. Encourage your friend to take a break from gaming. Tell him to ask one of his parents to help him be accountable with his decision to stop gaming.